Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tech Yesterday's Brandies are coming back to you guys today with a quick unboxing and preview of the Intel i5 4670K. Now this is what you get with the box. This is the retail version. Now one good thing about Intel products is they come boxed extremely well and they also come with the factory seal. So if yours does not have the factory seal, I would just say, look, take it back to the socks and say, why did you open this? Uh, if it doesn't work, I mean, it's just, yeah, the factory seal gives you that sense of knowing that your product has not been tampered with. Now you get the same crappy Intel heatsink as with all other uh, Intel products. So you get the same really, I think it's even thinner than the last gen, the Ivy Bridges heatsink. So this thing is really small. Uh, I think it's even lighter. I mean, it does feel a little bit lighter than last gen in Ivy Bridges. So that's the Haswell cooler there, really, really thin. Now you get a little manual with it and also a little decal, the in inside Core i5 Intel. So it does, it does look all right. I mean, people are having like, people are like, well, the box. I mean, it's just a box, who really cares? I mean, it comes with the, so anyway, thing to note about this is it comes with the Intel HD 4600 graphics, which I'm not really buying this chip for. I'm buying it for the fact that it, I believe it's soldered to the, uh, the this um, TIM is soldered to the chip this time. So you're gonna be able to get better overclocks with this chip. So this is uh, opening the chip here. This is what you get. So here's the chip here. It looks a little bit different. It's on the LGA 1150. So I will get a close up for you guys now, right up here. Okay, so here is the chip itself. This is a close up of it. Now it's a, it's just, it looks pretty much the same as the Ivy Bridge. I think a little bit different. Definitely, yeah, it looks a little bit different. I think it's actually got a smaller TIM this time around. So looking at the back of the chip, I gotta be very careful with it. Uh, it does look pretty beautiful. I mean, yeah, <laughs> so there it is guys. That's the Haswell chip. That's what you get with the 4670K. So this is a little bit cheaper than the i7 4770K. It's got six megabytes of cache. So you will sort of, I don't know if this is the value king, I think it is. For a gamer, this is definitely the way to go. You know, in Japan, you have to pay an extra $120 for hyper-threading and an extra two megabytes of cache. So anyway, I'm gonna test this thing, I'm gonna overclock it, and I'm gonna put some links in the description below when I get, when I obviously make the overclocking videos, and I'm gonna compare it to the 3570K with a few tests. And I'll see how that goes, if that, see how well that goes. So guys, if you enjoyed this little unboxing and preview of the 3, uh, 4670K, then please give this a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe around to Tech yes City. And I'll be back with more reviews, unboxings, and overclocking tutorials, especially for this little beast here. So anyway, guys, uh, peace out for now. Brand easy bite, and I'll catch you soon.